please welcome Kathleen Chalfant. Um, I would only um, interrupt your um, meal for something very important. So now I'm going to do it. I want to introduce you to someone with a heart the size of a football field and with vision that stretches way beyond 100 yards. There are people who know who I'm talking about already. <laughs> a minority owner of the Philadelphia Eagles. She is credited with making sure, starting in the 90s, that the team not only won, but gave back and continues to do so. Among many other initiatives, she founded and heads the charitable arm of the Eagles organization, through which more than one million kids have had access to after-school programs, autism services, and vision care. She is an, yay! This is what your Monday night pays for. She is an advocate, a philanthropist, and she is an artist. She has done something astounding. She has founded four independent film companies. One independent film company would kill most people. She was the executive producer of the film's Inside Job, which tackles the consequences of corruption in the financial services industry, and Innocente, which features the struggle of a homeless and undocumented teen girl. And those are just her movies that have won Oscars. So far. Exposing corruption, humanizing homelessness and immigration, making sure children can see, these are all important things. She's been a leader and an advocate on these and many more issues. But here's something else that matters. What sports stands for matters. What we see on screens matters. Whose stories get told matters. Because these people are our icons and our institutions. They have the power to drive change, to evolve culture, to make our world more just and humane. Our honoree has seen to it that that happens. It gives me great pleasure to present Breakthrough's 2019 Culture Change Inspiration Award to Christina weiss Lori. Thank you, Kathleen. And thank you, Mona, for asking me to say yes. Because otherwise, I wouldn't be with all of you here tonight following such incredible women um, who really are so deserving of all these awards. So it is a real honor to be here. And accepting the Culture Change Inspiration Award means a lot to me. Namaste. While I am part of the ownership of a sports team, I try to balance wearing many different hats. I am a mother a designer, a student of architecture, and a producer of independent films and documentaries. I also believe strongly in active philanthropy, actions that go beyond simply writing a check, to active participation in the change that is sought. Similar to Breakthrough, I am passionate about using a platform to give a voice to certain issues or to the disenfranchised. So you could say I like supporting the underdog. For me, using film is a great tool for shedding light on stories that wouldn't otherwise be told. It allows filmmakers to explore the history and to do a deep dive on a particular issue. 
As a film producer, I hope to reach different audiences who wouldn't otherwise know of, understand, or empathize over a subject. I think of it as a great leveler. I know Breakthrough works in a similar faction, fashion. We both want to use entertainment as a way of bringing acceptance to an issue. On the football side at the Eagles, we want to win championships, of course. Fly, Eagles, fly. I know we're in New York, but I have this whole band of Eagles supporters. But being an NFL team also gives us the unique platform and opportunity to fulfill a mission that is just as key, being good corporate citizens. We have the ability to reach a lot of people and thus make positive impact. Sometimes my football and film worlds collide. I have a documentary company, one of those four companies, called Screen Pass Pictures, which was created as a nonprofit to support films telling global stories. And if the documentaries are released and successful, actually make money, the profits in turn can fund the telling of a new particular and important issue. A few years ago, through Screen Pass Pictures, I worked on a documentary called A Place at the Table, which focuses on the link between obesity and hunger. For many years at the Eagles, we held a food drive at our stadium where fans would bring non-perishable goods to a designated home game. Shortly after the film came out, the Eagles heard from a company called YouGiveGoods.com that ran online food drives, and we were intrigued. Ultimately, we teamed up with them to create the first online healthy food only drive, and it was a huge success. But more importantly, our partnership helped create an infrastructure that their site now uses for healthy food drives nationwide. So, What started out as a film project ended up having a much bigger impact than we ever would have thought. Producing, whether on game day or in the film world, is a way of bringing so many talented people together to create a great end product. And it's no different in philanthropy. I want our social action to embody words such as real impact, responsibility, making a difference, difference, and partnership. We're all here tonight supporting Breakthrough and its mission. If Breakthrough can help a single person regain his, her, their voice and have it heard, regain his, her, their decision-making power, then that's a service well-deserving of our support. Moving forward in this period of time where there's such polarization, it's important to listen to one another, listen to one another, and find as much overlap as possible. Not only have the willingness to understand different points of view, but to affirm our common humanity regardless of those views. One can agree to disagree, but the idea of being open to and hearing other perspectives is critical in the world today. So I will keep on storytelling and supporting organizations like Breakthrough who have the same values that I do, and I hope you will too. Congratulations to all of tonight's award recipients. Thank you. So.